definition of this equation, Q for quality equals high production. And then we're talking about really high quality games here. Uh, first rate exclusives. Companies that are making games for customers to come back to them, to buy games from them. Okay. Uh, repeat making repeat customers through quality products that's what we're talking about I'm talking about people who love their art and who love making good games uh, bring skill and um, uh, you know talent back to the industry by uh, encouraging people to make good quality games okay that's quality now let's talk about quantity all right, quantity is mass market basically you know you try to get your product out there to everywhere you can um, you try to sell it any way you can you put it in rental boxes you put it in every type of stores that you can imagine okay uh, wholesale clubs um, department stores specialty stores uh, GameStop Walmart Kmart whatever you can um, and you want to get it out there so uh, that way um, you can sell as much as you can, okay? And um, you know that's how that's what quantity is. Now let's talk about value, okay? Now uh, value is affordability. Uh, I don't care how good your product is, okay, uh, if you make it too pricey, if you make it too expensive, only the people who can afford it are going to buy it, and then the rest, a uh, small percentage is going to try to steal it, and the other percentage is probably not going to touch it. So basically, you're looking at uh, uh, inability to move your product unless you have value and affordability uh, for your product, okay? So stop pricing it so high, price it cheap. That's why Steam products sell, because it's cheap. Now, the bottom line is profit. Every company has to make a profit, okay? And uh, if you follow the formula of quantity, quality, and value, you're gonna make a profit, okay? No matter how cheap you sell your product, as long as it's a good product, and you sell a lot of it, you're gonna make a profit, okay? And people are gonna keep buying it because it's a good quality product for cheap price, okay? And even when it's not so good of a quant quality, they still buy it because it's so cheap, okay? Um, <clears throat> Now that's the whole point of the um, equation is to make great games at dirt cheap prices so to sell 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 and, and that formula seems to be working for steam why not everywhere else everybody's so busy trying to be so greedy trying to charge as much money as they can and then on top of that they're so called claiming to protect their uh, property by by imposing all of these restrictions and rules and and, and devices and, and mechanisms to prevent you from stealing it well guess what if you make it affordable if you sell a lot of it you don't need to worry about it I'm sure people who are buying things off of Steam are not trying to steal anything from Steam because they're probably looking at these games on Steam and say oh I could afford that why, why do I need to steal it if I can just go ahead and pay a couple of dollars for each game and be done with it there's so many people right now that are buying games from Steam. They have so many games, they don't even get to play half of them. Okay, they're they're like sitting in the um, hard drive. They're not even being played, but they spent money on it. Okay, it's better for them to buy it and and give you profit than for you to have that game sitting on your shelf for sixty dollars a piece and nobody's really buying it. Okay, so. Get your product off the shelves, sell them, okay? It's, it's, it doesn't do you any good for you to have those games sitting on the shelves and you hoping that people will come and buy these games for $60 a piece. When all you have to do is make each game $10, $5, and you'll have probably 
armies of people coming in every day buying these games okay and of course you know when you're dealing with actual product when you buy them off the store shelves you're gonna deal with shortages and uh, higher demand is gonna probably jack the prices back up but it is better to have the prices go up because of that than for you to artificially make the price higher from the beginning so let the market market dictate how much the prices are going to be instead of you trying to figure out well each game no matter how good or bad or how long or short is six it's going to be sixty dollars okay that's not a good way to do business give people their money's worth if a game is not that good if it's not that long or you don't think it's um, that good of a game don't charge people sixty dollars right off the bat Okay, be honest with yourself, industry. Sell those games for what they're really worth, okay? You know, if, if you make games affordable, no one's going to try to cheat you out of them. And there's always going to be a few people who wants to want to hack and steal, okay, just for the fun of it, okay? But those people are going to be insignificant to the numbers of people who are going to just honestly buy your product if you just make it affordable okay uh, the same goes for any other industry the music industry the movie industry uh, the sporting industry these industries are so bent hell-bent on making their product so pricey that the common man these days have very difficulty uh, affording them make it affordable for a lot of people a lot of people will buy it okay these products are not products that uh, are going to um, fly off the shelf if you make them too expensive the people are still gonna buy them but it's not they're not gonna buy as many and they're always gonna look for cheaper alternate alternatives alternatives I'm sorry and so um, if you want to curtail uh, kind of slow down the sales of these games and you want to promote new games you're just gonna have to start making these games a lot cheaper okay and that's the most honest way you can uh, come to a solution um, these things about the DRMs copyright protection and all that stuff didn't work for the PC industry it's not gonna work for uh, the console industry okay think about it um, is the PC industry any bigger than what it was uh, 20 years ago? No. And actually, the PC gaming industry was probably a lot bigger 20 years ago than it is today. Whereas Electronic Boutique and Babbage, places like that, were basically computer software stores, okay? They went out of business, okay? What took over? The console gaming business, okay? So basic, basically electronic boutiques and Babbage's and all these other uh, places that sold computer software, they no longer sell computer software and games. They sell console games. Why? Because the PC industry pretty much screwed itself, okay, by doing all these stupid things they're about to do to the console. Think about it. Thanks for watching.